I hope you are doing well. I just threw some chicken in the pressure cooker. I like to take about a cup of water and mix about a teaspoon or so of chicken bouillon into the water for flavoring. And then I pour that all over the chicken and then set my pressure on high for about 12 minutes. Then it is usually cooked through and ready for me to shred up because tonight we are going to be having cheesy chicken tacos. It is only quarter to one right now, but I figured I would do that part of dinner and then put it in the refrigerator and it will be all shredded and ready and waiting for me for tonight when I get home. Because me and Justin and Tim are going to be heading into town and going to libraries. We have not been to a library in quite a while. I don't know if we wanna to go to one library, if we're gonna end up at a couple libraries. I don't know, we'll see how that plays out. Plus I have to pick up some prescriptions while I'm out and they're hinting around for Starbucks. So we'll see if we make our way out that way for Starbucks. What did you do we didn't see? Oh, it's bunny ears. Well, that's not very nice. Jason's in the bedroom working. I shoved him in the corner. No, just kidding. <laughs> He's had um, pretty big meetings and stuff this morning and things he needs to do. You have homework, right? Uh, yes. Justin actually went on a face-to-face -face interview today and he thinks it went pretty well. This is for a job here in our town, which would be really good. This is the first face-to-face -face interview that he has had. All his other interviews have been just online, but it went really well. And then yesterday, he had an interview, online interview, and that one is for a place about, it ended up being about two hours away from us is where it would be, which isn't too bad at all. And he thinks that one went pretty good too. So he has interviews coming in and trickling in and possible jobs, so I'll keep you updated on all of that. It's fun to see his career life unfolding and where God is gonna be taking him now that he's through with college. I never want to hear again you have no clothes. <laughs> we have a huge stack of laundry to do. It's going to be at least two loads of laundry. But, okay, speaking of having no clothes, right? This shirt is new. I just got this at Maurice's, and it's a long-sleeved, light material. It has a hood, and I'll show you the bottom of it, because the bottom of it is kind of rolled up a little bit on the bottom. It is such a comfortable, baggy, nice shirt for today because it is cold out again today. Tomorrow we're supposed to be getting back up into our summer type heat, but today we are only in the 50s. So this actually came at a perfect time for me to wear it while I'm out today. But Timothy has a book that that library didn't have, so we're gonna head out to another library. But on my way, I'm making some stops. <laughs> so my first one is right here at the pharmacy. I have a prescription to pick up. And then I'm gonna head out to Mardell because I need to get a card. One of my dear friends passed away. I just found out yesterday. Her husband called me. Um, but we got to meet them when we went out to Georgia, which I'm so grateful for. And it was just, I don't know. But anyway, I gotta get a card for him and get that sent out for him. So I'm gonna go to Mardell for that. The boys made me go out of my way because they want a Starbucks. So weird. I'm a millennial. I need I need my coffee.
was successful too. They did have the book. We were so glad. We actually went in there and Tim was looking in the section and it wasn't there. And he's like, maybe it's on display. And I'm like, maybe it is. It ended up being over in a mystery section. Completely different section than we were in. You want to show them your book? <laughs> smack <laughs> you in the book? face with that. I know, it was smack. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your book, Tim. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head home because it is after four o'clock. I'm hungry. Are you hungry now? All right, I've got the chicken going, and like I said earlier, we're doing the cheesy chicken tacos. So this is the cheesy sauce that goes into it. I'm so glad I took that little bit of time and prepped this chicken this morning because it's already 10 to five. <laughs> On the back burner, I have some refried beans. And this time I decided not to do rice. I usually do rice with our taco meals, but I'm not going to this time. I have to show you these cheesy taco shells. What a mess. Look at this. These two are normal, these two are broken, and then every single one in the pack was broken. I think I have ever gotten a pack of tacos that badly broken like these. Oh, but it's a good thing that me and Jason, we pretty much just turn ours into a taco salad anyway. And we just crunch up the shell right into the bowl and then just layer everything on lettuce. Tim said he's probably going to do that too. And then Justin can have at least two of the good shells. Man. All right, let me show you the stuff that I got. Number one. At Mardell, when I went to get the card, I got this cute pen. I never buy stuff on a whim like this. There was only two left, so I grabbed one. This was $1.99, and it is so soft and pretty. I thought, oh, this is so girly, I love it. And then they had these two really cute t-shirts, and they were $10 each, so I grabbed two of them. I mean, they had more than just two there, but the two that I liked, those are the ones that I got. Okay, I just draped these over a chair. <laughs> but both of the t-shirts on the front says Bless Girl because I believe that's the name brand of the t-shirt. And this one is gray, and this one is a navy blue. And then the back of the gray one says Pray More, Worry Less. And the back of the blue one says This Girl's Got Grace, Gratitude, and Grit. Colossians 1, 11 through 12. And then the pharmacy, I went there to grab a prescription and they had said that they got the prescription it was in, but the girl said that there was no prescription. So Jason just re-entered the prescription and I have to go back in, I think tomorrow. I think it's ready actually right now, but I'll just get it when I'm out tomorrow. But it was a really nice afternoon, spending that afternoon with my guys and just creating memories. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw pictures of us at the library and things that was going on today. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, come on over and follow me. Okay, I need to get the stuff out of the refrigerator. I know I already have shredded lettuce, but I know I have to cut up a tomato. This time for our sides, I have black olives, some sour cream, onion, I remembered guacamole, that doesn't happen every time so I'm so proud of myself. Some tomato, shredded lettuce, and shredded cheddar cheese. Okay, the kitchen is all cleaned up for the night, which makes me feel good. When I can wake up to a clean kitchen in the morning, oh, I just, I feel much better <laughs> starting my day off like that. I wanna share this with you. I bought mine on Amazon, and I will have the link below in case you're interested in it, but I'm sure you can also purchase this on their website. This is through the Our Daily Bread. I've talked about their devotionals before here on my channel, but this one is a 31 Reflections and Insights of Proverbs, and it's a devotional, but it's almost like it's a study. So it gives the devotion, and then it gives mission wisdom, Some of them have the author biography, which this one is King Solomon. And then there's areas in here too where it takes you into heart matters and it gives you lines and stuff to be able to write notes on. And it's just, it's like a study and it is just really good. This one is The Beauty of Love. So this would be for all ages, I believe. I have not started 
reading it yet because I just received it a few days ago and I've just kind of been looking through it. But I'm gonna dive into that little devotional study and I think it's gonna be a really good one. I love studies, Bible studies that go deep and really like take apart the verses and take apart the chapters and just really dive into the story and the the people that are in the story like King Solomon and break it up and then put it in a form that I can relate to it and I can use it in my everyday life. Like I said, I will have the link below if you are interested. I know that on their website, our daily bread has more devotionals and i know there's a woman's one specifically and then i'm not sure about the other ones thank you so much for joining me today i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you soon I'll meet you outside.